This is Chris with Optimize OS. Today we're looking at a new tool by Wondershare called Wondershare Filmora Screen or Filmora SCRN. This is an incredible screen recording tool that works amazingly well for gamers and those who wants to create reviews and tutorials. And I want to give you a demonstration and a review of the Filmora Screen tool, how it works and what's included with it so you'll know if it's something you want or not. The first thing you can do is you can download a free trial version of it by following the link there on your screen or underneath the video. It'll take you to Filmora's website where you can learn more about the product and download it. It is available currently for PC but will be soon available for Mac as well. So when you download it, the first thing you want to see when you open it is this screen here where you have three options. First, to get started, Quick Capture and Video Editor. If you want to immediately start recording your screen, you'd do Quick Capture. If you want to edit video you already have, you'd want to go to the video editor. What you want to do first is click on Get Started. That way you can make the proper adjustments for what you want while you're recording. So first, you'll be clicking on Screen, and you have the options here for Screen Capture to record your full screen or to set a custom size later. You can choose the frame rate, which goes from 15 all the way to 120. So you can get some pretty amazing detail for those uh, newer games that are coming out. And you can also go down here and click on Game, and you can choose the game that you want to record and also the frame rate available for those specific games. You can also record your camera if you have a webcam so you can show yourself down on the screen while you're playing the game. You'd simply choose your camera, the resolution you want to record at, as well as the frame rate. And the advanced setting just gives you a couple more options as to where you want to save the recordings to, if you want to enable GPU acceleration if you have it available, and to set hotkeys for starting, stopping, pausing, resuming, and for full screen recording. Once you're done with that, you're simply going to click the capture button. Now once you click capture, it's going to bring a tool like this on your screen. Very easy to use. There's a recording button here, a pause button here, there's your timer. And it shows you here with your cam, your, with your webcam, your microphone, and desktop audio, of which you can enable or disable by clicking these or checking this box here, or these little eye icons. Now, once you've done all that and you're ready to record, let me go back here to the video editor. After you've recorded your video, it'll automatically ask you if you want to save it or if you want to import it into Wondershare Filmora Screens video editing tool and since I already have one made I'm just going to go straight to the video editor right here so we're going to wait for that to load and once we're here you can see up here there's only a few options available because you really don't need that many which makes it very easy for someone who's just getting started into recording games uh, to get a hold of this really fast and to start working on it so what you want to do is you want to add the files that you recorded if it didn't already do so. And let me go to here to pick mine out. And once you add your file or files, you can click the plus sign or you can drag it down to your timeline. And it's going to add it down here so you can see it in your preview window. Now this little red marker will allow you to move it left and right so you can see throughout your video what's going on from beginning to end. You can also see on here that the um, audio is integrated with it and if you right click you can actually detach the audio so where it creates two separate files your video and audio which just gives you uh, more options for editing. Now once you have this you can go up here and you can go to annotations and they have already some included things you can add into here and if you go to their website you can download tons and tons of different types of effects you can add to your video that works with Filmora uh, like I said this one's kinda geared toward gamers and that's why they've already included some of these so if we want to add some of these we could take this one and just drag it over and drop it and let's just resize it a little bit and so when it plays can move it to wherever you want to. Let's just say it's going to be right here. So we'll move our marker to this spot. Click play. And you can see there it is. It pops up there. 
and we can make that last however long we want to and you can import add as many different types of images you want you can go online find all kinds of different graphics and things you want to add to it and you can throw them in here and just really make your video stand out the cursor if you have a mouse if you're doing some kind of video tutorials or training you could uh, cursor highlight you could just drag this down to the screen and wherever it sees your mouse it's automatically going to highlight it for you or you can choose to uh, do left click ring so whenever you click it'll show rings to pop up just to give people you know the idea that you are clicking and so really that's all there is to Filmora screen it's a very simple tool to use to record uh, your screen your desktop games tutorials demos and to instantly import them into the Filmora screen video editor so where you can come in here and you can quickly and easily edit them add some graphics images come up here click export choose whether you want to save it as an mp4 an mov or, or a gif file you can name it tell it where you want to save it and you got the options here as to how you want to save it resolution wise up to 1920 by 1080 as well as frame rates which go all the way to 120 and your audio settings also so that is Filmora screen I do highly recommend this tool you can visit their website the links on your screen they also have a I believe another video or two on their website you can look at but if nothing else download the free trial version of it so you can try it out yourself and just see how easy it really is to use and uh, if you are a gamer and you've been looking to record yourself and to get yourself on YouTube um, this is the way to go